In this video, we will talk about hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction or HPV in short. And as the name suggests, HPV is vasoconstriction in the pulmonary circulation due to hypoxia. So if there is poor or absent ventilation in any part or region of the lungs, the blood vessels in that part will constrict limiting the blood supply to that region which also means making more blood available for gas exchange in other areas of the lungs where ventilation is good so HPV is a compensatory mechanism in which blood supply is restricted to non-ventilated areas of the lungs so that more blood is available for gas exchange in the ventilated areas of the lung. This mechanism assumes significance, especially in patients with lung pathology and any patients having one lung ventilation during thoracic surgery. And also, HPV is active in uterus, reducing pulmonary blood flow to the fetus. Now, coming to the stimulus for this HPV, in a ventilated lung, alveolar PO2 is the predominant stimulus, meaning the low oxygen level in the alveolus is sensed by the vasculature supplying that area, leading to vasoconstriction of that area. However, in clinical situations where areas of lung are not ventilated such as one lung ventilation or pulmonary collapse the stimulus for hpv would be from the mixed venous blood since the alveolar ventilation is totally absent so the low or high oxygen level would be sensed from the mixed venous blood supply now the precise anatomical site of HPV is uncertain and in animal studies hypoxia reduces blood flow in the small pulmonary arteries, arterioles, capillaries and venules. The greatest response though is in the distal pulmonary arteries. Now as pulmonary capillaries have no smooth muscle in their walls, reduced capillary blood flow in response to hypoxia is surprising. One possible mechanism is the presence of contractile cells within the alveolar septa, which contract in response to hypoxia and directly constrict the capillaries or kink them by distorting the alveolar wall. Initially, HPV as a reflex contraction of vascular smooth muscle was thought to be a single response which comes and goes as hypoxia develops. But now, two distinct phases have been identified. Phase 1 begins within a few seconds and is maximal at 15 minutes. With moderate hypoxia, that is, partial pressure of oxygen at 30 to 50 mm mercury, the response is sustained, but in animal studies of severe hypoxia, a PO2 of less than 30 mm of mercury, phase 1 quickly declines again to almost normoxic values. Now, when moderate hypoxia is sustained for more than 30 to 60 minutes, phase 2 of the HPV begins and a further increase in pulmonary vascular resistance is seen reaching a peak at 2 hours. Now we know that HPV is a physiological response to hypoxia and the significance of HPV to clinicians lie in the fact that there are some factors and drugs which we will talk in the next video that can potentiate or attenuate HPV. Knowing these factors and drugs and using them appropriately will be beneficial to the patients. Thank you.